Ms. Bernstein, uh, I'm sure you're aware of the 2013 decision of the Dominican Constitutional Court that stripped hundreds of thousands of Dominicans of their Haitian, of Haitian descent, of their nationality, regardless, rendering them stateless. These are people who, for a long time, have lived in the DR, uh, and the the Constitutional Court has now declared that they have no citizenship, that they are li literally stateless. What would be your approach to ensuring that these individuals have their nationality restored? Thank you, Senator, for that very important question. Uh, humanitarian rights are very, very important to me, especially as someone whose family fled Russia and because of the lack of respect for um, human rights. So this is something that's deeply ingrained in my, in my soul, and, and this is something that, uh, a question that's very, very important to me. Um, first of all, I would I, I agree with you that human rights uh, should be respected, and um, the Pope, even Pope John Paul, said that everyone, if I may quote, everyone should have the opportunity to eat enough, to be cared for when ill, to find housing, to study to overcome illiteracy, to find worthwhile and properly paid work, all that provides a truly human life for men and women, young and old. And I would take a very active role in working with embassy or embassy staff. Uh, I understand that um, this is something that we do, uh, if confirmed, that I um, that we work to help them gain passports. And uh, I would hopefully work with my um, my esteemed colleague, uh, Mich Michelle Sisson, Ambassador Sisson in Haiti and try and work with her if should there be any issues where we could partner together and try to make sure that the restoration of, of the uh, people that are, quote, stateless. And I would